Hey guys, what's up? So uh, this is Boba7772 and well, I'm excited so I'm just going to jump in. Um, as you can tell by the title, this is a spoiler talk for this episode. I did a review, there were, eh, I, I wouldn't really call them spoilers, there were some things that kind of spoiled some things in that issue, but that was mostly just my review, like some things that happened, my thoughts on those things that happened, blah blah blah. This is going to be spoiler talk. Um, so I'm not going to show you like every page in the issue. I'm not really going to show you anything in the issue. Uh, but I'm going to talk about this issue, then the previews for the next one, give my thoughts, theories, all that stuff. So yeah. Um, so a little bit of context here um, in case you need to catch up. There's this dude named Gregory. He sucks. Worst Walking Dead character since somebody else who's really sucked. Uh, I don't know who sucked this. Actually, Lori kind of sucked. She was terrible. But um, this guy, Gregory. Oh my god. Uh, he's been in the comics a while now. He used to be the leader of Hilltop. If you guys forgot, he's pretty forgettable. He sucks. Not that Robert Kirkman does a bad job writing him or that uh, anybody on the team does a bad job with the character. It's just that I hate the character. <laughs> um, so pretty much, um, other than that, the only other context you'll need is these two boys were pick, uh, beating up Sophia because she had saved this other kid before so then they came and like hit Carl with a brick started beating up Sophia really bad Carl came back almost killed him uh, he didn't kill them so Carl had to go to this jail thing uh, the kids parents got really mad uh, and then um, we get the rest of that in this issue. A couple of other things, we get to see some character development with Jesus, which I really love. Uh, I guess I'll talk about that first. Um, so Jesus really doesn't get too much spotlight in this issue, but um, it does show us that, um, and I believe it's the same dude he was with before. Um, they kind of have this really kind of, uh, it, it's a relationship, but it's a really odd relationship because the guy Jesus is with, um, is with someone else and doesn't want to do anything to screw that up and just wants to remain friends with Jesus, but he totally kissed him, so he, he likes Jesus. Uh, Paul, Paul Monroe. Um, so I, th I thought that that was really interesting, not so much for the other guy's character, but for Jesus, like, because I love Jesus' character. He's kind of like, he's kind of that guy who I feel kind of like Michonne is independent, but you know, everybody kind of wants uh, somebody else there for him. So Jesus has this guy um, there for him, and uh, but this guy isn't really there for him. And Jesus is like, you know, that's K. You know, it's it's K. I don't really mind. Uh, we'll be friends. Blah blah blah. Um, and um, so that's. I think that that'll bring up some uh, interesting. Uh, I don't want to say like history with Jesus, but maybe some uh, more in-depth character development with Jesus. Uh, like, I, I don't know, it could go a billion different ways. I'm not even going to theorize on that, but um, I, I think that how they're handling Jesus right now is really cool. Not so much his friend, because um, I really don't even remember his friend too well. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is Lydia. Now, uh, Lydia is really cool. She's pretty much this whisperer, and in this issue, they kind of made her a character, which uh, is a kind of character that I thoroughly enjoy more, which is, they're, you know, they're a pretty strong character, but uh, once you get them into a certain position or, like, really get, like, really into their character, you see that uh, deep down, they're, they've still got their issues. Hers being... I wouldn't say emotionally weak, but um, she kind of is a little bit terrified because she's always with someone. She saw her friends die, and she doesn't know how uh, to go back to, you know, how life was before all this, which is what, you know, Rick and Carl and them are trying to do. And she has kind of a heartfelt conversation with Carl, and Carl's like, they'll forgive you, you know. Carl is kind of making a friendship with this girl, which I really do like because... I mean, let's be honest, uh, Carl is one of my favorite characters on comics, as I'm sure some of you guys uh, know, and uh, he's friends with Sophia, and he has a crush on this girl in his other town, which we barely know anything about, and then he has, like, one or two friends in his other town. But, like, other than that, he really doesn't have any friends his age, especially now since he moved. So he kind of has Sophia, and now he's getting this new girl, and you can tell that he's really taking a liking to her, and I think that they're... Their relationship could go, like, any way, any which way, I mean... 
I know that a lot of people think, oh yeah, well they could totally uh, end up together kind of romantically, but I I don't know. Um, not that I would be opposed to that, but I think that they also have a good thing going as like, it could totally be BFFs, however they play uh, Lydia's character out, because honestly she is a really, really cool character. Um, I think I'm saying that, you know, more just for the fact that um, she's there with Carl. But another thing about Lydia is I do not trust her. Um, while part of me is like, I really like this character, she's really interesting, another part of me is like, she is totally BSing Carl and everyone else. Like, all of this stuff she is just saying, she's gonna get out, she's gonna hurt people. Do not trust this girl. So I've kind of got that in the back of my mind. If they do that with her, I would not be shocked. I would, honest to God, be more shocked if they actually made her genuine to what she is uh, telling Carl. Um, but I still want I'm, to, I'm, I know that Robert Kirkman could throw me for a loophole because not everything is black and white like I was, you know, kind of just talking about. She could either be a total backstabber or totally with Carl. She could be a totally neutral gray in that area. And I think that would be uh, very interesting as well. So, you know, really, no matter where they go with her, um, I think that it could be interesting. Um, we also have the Whispers kind of waiting outside of Hilltop, waiting for their leader to come. Um... We have a scene with Magna and Andrea that they're just kind of talking. They talk about Eugene. Um, what, this part kind of confuses me a bit because Andrea uh, either explicitly states or implies. Let me uh, find it. Um, uh, Andrea says, I, uh, they're talking about Eugene. Um, and Magna asks if he's okay, and Andrew's like, I'm not sure he's been like that. She goes, and I quote, I really shouldn't, but his girlfriend was pregnant, hadn't told him yet. And then Magna says, isn't that usually good news? And Andrea said, he's either mad she waited so long to tell him, or he's just worried about raising a kid in this world. I am pretty sure that we've established this in the last issue that he's worried that the kid uh, is not his, which is obvious, but uh, the thing I have about this, and uh, this may just be too complex for my mind, um, is I'm, I thought that Andrea knew that it wasn't his kid, and this could go either a billion ways, like she could, you know, totally know and she just doesn't want to tell Magna, or she just doesn't really want to talk like, it's none of her really business to share with people that um, Rosita kind of had an affair with Eugene. Or, you know, Andrea honestly didn't know, and I totally took that whole thing out of context when uh, I'm pretty sure it was Andrea talking to Rosita before, but I'm, once again, not 100% sure. I could just totally be making that up in my mind. Anyway, Rick comes back, and, you know, Andrew's like, I have expected to see Carl with you. And he's like, yeah, it sucks. Um, so Rick is in this issue, finally. Um, you know, not that I'm complaining. Uh, Rick can die at some point, too. J just saying. They could kill Rick off. Um, so we see uh, Carl with Earl. Now, this is the big part of the issue. And, like, honestly, all in all, this issue had kept me entertained through the whole thing. Like, there is not one panel where I did not, like, drool at how amazing the art was, because I absolutely love this art, and just, like, the whole thing just kept me wanting more. So, they did really good with this issue, just want to say that right now. Um, Carl's talking to Earl, sees one of the guy's dads who he beat up the son behind him. He looks really mad. Um, Earl just tells him to ignore him. Carl's kind of scared. He, he has kind of a scared face. Um, as you can, there's the jerk face and then there's uh, Carl, that's what I consider the scared face. Um, so then uh, Carl goes back to talk to Lydia. She's crying. She's like, I've never been alone. She's really sad. I'm loving this, uh, this, this build up between Carl and Lydia. I mean, seriously, it's one of my, uh, probably one of my favorite relationships. Uh, how do I word this? One of my favorite relationships in the comics that have 
not been too longly explored does that make sense because this is only like the second issue and we only like barely got a glimpse of them in the first issue so i guess you could technically say that this is like really the first issue where we see him interact too much uh second issue uh, all in all and um I, th I think that it's really good. Like, if they keep carrying on like this, it could be really incredible. And I absolutely love this. Um, so Carl is, like, she's, like, I'm scared. And Carl's, like, I'll be right back. Uh, so then we move on to Gregory's house. And the dad comes up. He's, like, and I'll quote this. By the way, spoilers. This whole video is spoilers. Uh, also, this scares the heck out of me. Um... Gregory answers the door to the guy and goes, what do you want? And the guy's dad said, been thinking about it long and hard. What you want to do? I think you're right. Things are bad and they're only getting worse. Maggie Green has to die. We're in. But you have to kill the boy too. And then uh, Gregory kind of looks to the side. Like, so uh, before I get to the next part, there's like a billion thoughts going through my mind. Because like... Oh my gosh, there's something still in this comic that worries me, something that's the preview for the next comic that worries me that all has to deal with this, plus stuff that's happened earlier with Carl telling Lydia, like, we don't kill anymore. So now at this point, I'm like, oh my god, but this could go a billion different ways. For one, Gregory could actually do one good thing in his life and be like, no, we are not killing the kid. Is that clear? We can, like, lock him up or something, but we are not killing him. Uh, that would totally, I still wouldn't like Gregory at all, but that that would totally make me not hate him as much. Um, right now, I hate him more than Lori, which I can do a whole video of why I don't like com comic Lori, TV Lori, probably too. Um, I, I feel like I should justify myself there, but then I feel like that'd be taking up too much time because it's freaking Lori. Uh, long story short, she started every single, she started so much. BS and Rick like tried his best for everything and she was just a terrible terrible person But I know there are some Lori fans out there not meaning to offend those people Anyway, um, so Gregory could be like, you know, we're not killing the kid Gregory could be deal and if he does deal they could try to kill them They could be stopped before any of this happens. They could uh, Kill Maggie be stopped. They could kill Carl be stopped um, you know, kill one of them and not the other. They could kill both of them or they could kill neither. Um, Gregory could end up dying in this. The dad could end up dying. I mean, this is, oh my gosh, this is scaring me to death. And I want February to come. Uh, this is, because uh, once again, if you guys didn't know, I think I mentioned it like 20 times in this video already, 21 right now. Carl Grimes is my favorite character and I am terrified for him to die. Um, now, uh, next we see Carl kind of talking to Lydia again. Um, he's kind of telling her stories. He tells about, like, Herschel's farm. He actually mentions Her Herschel. He says how he got shot in the eye. And he says something that kind of uh, reminds me of what Andrea and Rick say, but also kind of terrifies me as well. He says, um, the bullet, it entered my eye, came out the side of my temple, right next to my eye. The angle missed my brain. I lived. I always live. That's the thing. I was almost invincible, you know? And then he keeps on talking, but uh, why? Kill, kill Andrea, kill Rick. Like, kill every single person in this comic who's appeared so far. Do not kill Carl, please. Uh, Carl's my favorite. I, I... Uh, I want to point out that I was joking there, um, because sometimes, I guess, hard to tell I'm joking, but, um, I don't want Carl to die. That's, like, the bottom point. I'm terrified. I actually wrote into Letter Hex. My letter might be published in 138. That'd be so cool. I think that's the one with boats on the covers. Or, no, that's the one where there's, like, a whisper fighting someone. Um, but, yeah, maybe that's the last one I, of this, uh, of this series right here, of the, uh, found and all these you know they have them in six person series anyway i'm rambling so uh carl talks to, he's talking to her uh and she's being all negative uh she says uh um carl says i don't believe in magic or anything uh but i can't ignore what i lived through and the sense of security it brought me once again ah uh, pinged my heart um she said and i have to think if it works so well for me, maybe it'll work well for you. No, I'm sorry, Carl says that. Um, so Carl says that, and then she says thank you. 
Um, now we can look at her here. She has Carl's hat, which was originally Rick's hat. Um, now that could also mean a billion things. And maybe I'm looking too much into it, but uh, Carl could totally die and she could like become the new um, kind of Carl's replacement for the comic. Not like Rick's child or anything, but like take on Carl's role as that kid who uh, doesn't know any. I, I, anyway, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about Carl dying anymore because one, it's not going to happen. Better not, Kirkman. Um, and two, I'm. I don't want him to die. Um, but anyway, uh, check out her face. Does it? Does she look genuine to you, or does she look like she's just totally messing with Carl? Um, so yeah, that that's this issue. Just like all in all, wonderful issue. Um, let her act. Like where's Michonne? Seriously. Um. Once again, wondering where Michonne is. I'm more curious about Dwight, going to be honest. Because um, comic Michonne isn't that great. Um, she, she was kind of cool at some points, but then she she got me mad after uh, after she hung out with Carl and Rick for a while and they found Glenn and all them after the prison art. Like, she was cool a little bit after that, then not. Anyway, I'm getting off topic again. Um, last thing I want to discuss... Um, they kind of give a teaser for the next issue, so here's a cover of the next issue. Um, you can see a better one online. Uh, and then the editor put this in. Next month, something happens that a lot of you have requested, though you folks have requested lots of bet hmm, things, so you're better off not jumping to conclusions. It's a good one. And then Robert Kirkman says, oh boy, I can't wait. See y'all back here very soon. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, so my first and hopefully theory is Gregory Dye's plans foiled. Uh, Gregory Dye would be the thing that fans have hoped for for a long time. I also know that there's a group of people out there who don't like Carl, and hopefully he's not talking to those people, because I don't want Carl to die. Uh, next thing, what, what, what else could we have? Uh, Michonne could, could be coming back, you know, that could be something that people have requested. Uh, Ezekiel, Dwight, um, we could, you know, be, uh, visiting one of those characters. Um, what else, what else are we missing? Uh, we, we also want to know, because Robert Kirkman kind of teased that there would be a female, uh, baddie, uh, that we've already been introduced to at a certain point. Uh, at first I was kind of hoping it'd be Magna, I, or, uh, I, I thought it would be Magna, kind of hoping for, uh, I don't know why I'm hoping for this. Kind of like maybe Lily. I don't know. I don't I I don't want it to be Lily, but I'm hoping for it, if that makes sense. Um so that could be it. Um, you know, uh Shiva could be coming back. Eh? Eh? No. Um Wow, there's just so much stuff. All I wanna say is keep Carl Grimes alive. Oh my gosh, I do not want him to die. You know, they're even coming out with an action figure of him this summer. Granted they come out with action figures of dead characters all the time. Governor <coughs> Glenn, and then like you know Herschel and Governor again. They came out with like two governors and Criffing, uh, Tyrese, uh, all of those guys. It's 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 scaring me, guys. It's really scaring me because I don't want Carl to die. But uh, all in all, this was an absolutely wonderful issue. Um, if if you're into The Walking Dead, totally pick it up. I uh I've read through the series like three or four times now, and I'm about to actually buy physical copies of the uh, compilation soon because I've I literally just read it like three weeks ago, and I want to read it again. That's how good it is. Um, so the comics are good if you guys you know haven't uh kind of been in them. Wow, I've been ranting for almost 20 minutes now about what I call spoiler talk. Just me kind of. Uh, geeking out about this issue. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, so yeah, I did a review on it if you guys want to go see that. I did a review kind of has spoilers, kind of doesn't. I guess you guys won't mind. Um, so that's pretty much it for the spoiler talk. I will try to do this with future issues at the very least. I will do it with issues that I think are incredibly cool. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching uh, and until next time, uh, Boba7772 out.